rising rent. Tenants fear they'll be forced out of a Regina apartment. Police defense. Saskatoon's chief responds to brutality allegations. And I'm Dan Reinish. Most of the province will see an abundance of sunshine this weekend, but parts of the province could see an abundance of snow. This is Saskatchewan's local news, first at 5. Good evening. Tenants in a South Regina apartment building are up in arms tonight after word that their rent will almost double. Many are worried they'll have to move out. Molly Thomas has been following the story and joins us now live. Molly. Well, Steve, it's a huge rent hike in everyone's eyes. The Saskatchewan Rentalsman says he's never seen anything like this. This is the kitchen behind me, um, the two-bedroom apartment. This is the living room. It's not the perfect pad, but it's a humble abode for Gabrielle Patterson. She's lived here for almost three years. Now she's planning to pack up. And so we assume that, you know, our, 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 our land before time, if you will, our kind of, um, you know, our, our really good deal was going to change, but we didn't think it would change to the point where we all had to find new homes. The 26-year-old student pays $675 a month, but not for long. She says monthly payments of $1,100 will have her walking, along with some of her neighbours. I'm 46 years old and I'm just getting tired of people uh, giving me a good swift kick in the butt for no reason. Brent Gillies says he wants rent control so he can afford to stay in one place. The rentalsman says he has his hands tied. If owners give their tenants six months notice, they're in the clear. One stipulation. If the hearing officer finds that the purpose of the rent increase was to get the tenants to move out, the, the hearing officer could disallow the rent increase. There's no proof that is the case. The owner says electrical and plumbing upgrades are driving up costs. The NDP doesn't buy that. But interest rates aren't going up uh, that would affect the owners. Uh, there's no huge increases that affect the owners. Why do they need a 70% increase except that they can? And so over time, this has resulted in mold damage. So for now, all tenants can do is complain and look for a new place to live. Um, like I said, everything they're doing is completely legal, and that's what's really scary about this situation. The government says rent control is not the issue or the answer. It admits there is a shortage of affordable housing here in Saskatchewan, and that's why it says it's planning to build more than 1,000 new units for renters. It's also pe helping people who want to buy. Steve? All right. Thanks, Molly. The CBC's Molly Thomas in Regina tonight.